Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and last week I discussed laminar flow diffusers. So I want to continue on with that theme and discuss the air curtain used with laminar flow diffusers in operating room systems. So let's draw a laminar flow diffuser in the ceiling and our operating table with our poor patient on it. Now I mentioned last time that laminar flow diffusers are not truly laminar. They're actually unidirectional flow, non-aspirating diffusers. Slight differences in airflow velocity, especially at the edges of the laminar flow diffuser and along the ceiling, can cause some induction into the airstream. Because of this, you often see air curtains around the perimeter of the operating room laminar diffusers. The air curtain is a perimeter of linear diffusers that surrounds the laminar flow diffusers that reduces the quantity of particles that enter the laminar flow field. It basically creates a barrier between the room air and the sterile field under the laminar flow diffusers. So let's move our patient out of the way and look at it from the top. You'll have a section in the center over the operating table of laminar flow diffusers. So let's draw in a bank of eight laminar flow diffusers. And then surrounding that will be an air curtain. The air curtain is made up of linear diffusers that create this perimeter around the outside of the laminar flow diffusers. Draw in the linear slots. Okay, and we're gonna put our air curtain about 18 inches away from the laminar diffusers in the center. So let's bring our patient back and look at it from a side view. Your laminar flow field is directly over the operating table and then on the outside you'd have your air curtain. So let's draw in our air curtain over here on the side with a slot and over here with a little slot. And now the airflow from this is going to come down the sides here. You want to select the air curtain so that you're around 50 feet per minute, about two foot above the floor. The area inside the air curtain has a higher pressure than the area outside the air curtain. So particles are going to want to flow from the high pressure to low pressure. So let's get rid of our particles that were being induced earlier. Now the particles are actually going to want to move this way to the low pressure outside of the air curtain. You would put your returns on a low sidewall about here. So you bring air in at the ceiling level and return it out by the floor. You'll want at least two return grills located about three foot above the floor. Airflow tests in our lab of our Sterotex system and several studies that use CFD modeling have shown that the air curtain does effectively isolate the clean zone. So that covers the basics of the air curtain. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.